And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello again, and welcome to Sunday's edition of Alaska Weather. Up first, uh, hazardous fire weather, fire danger, should say, uh, for grass, not too bad. In the medium here category across much of the central interior, down into the northern Cuscombe Valley, and also quite an area up here over the north slope and all the way out to the Arctic coast there. And northern Panhandle out to the central coast, about the same, some areas of uh, moderate uh, fire danger for grass. And moving on to spruce, still these two uh, high to very high fire danger zones, central interior there around uh, Fairbanks, Nanana, and uh, that area, central Tanah Valley up into the Yukon Flats, but uh, much diminished here to the east. Actually had soaking rains come as far west as Chukchitsik uh, overnight last night and early this morning with a fair amount of rain here to the east from that area southward toward uh, Delta Junction, but uh, staying dry there over the Fort Yukon area and much of the Yukon Flats and again down into the Fairbanks area. Otherwise, uh, spruce looking good. Uh, no uh, big chance of it uh, catching fire here over the central, western, northern interior or the panhandle. Uh, kind of a medium area up there uh, for what spruce is on the north slope up in the central areas there, but nothing too significant. And for satellite imagery today, uh, break in conditions here, weak high pressure over the western interior, and uh, enough of a high that that's holding this moisture back that's edging toward the coastline with a uh, cold front back through this area, extends all the way down toward the eastern Aleutians, spurring some rain into the Pribilof Islands and southward to the uh, eastern Aleutians. Sunshine breaking out over the Copper River Basin and low clouds, fog, light rain, ending for the most part, but showers build up after the sunshine over South Central Alaska today. See this uh, band here, and then that just really kind of fades away, and we're looking at uh, showers developing over the Chugach Mountains. Alaska range this afternoon, scattered thunderstorms over the eastern interior become more widespread as you head toward the eastern border there. Quite a concentration of uh, lightning strikes here over the Yukon Northwest Territories. And uh, southeast coast, not too bad. Some sunshine over the northern panhandle with uh, more clouds and some, at least a few showers around the southern areas there. But not too bad of a day, especially in the north. And on the chart today, here's this weak area, high pressure. Uh, strong enough, though, to produce some areas of sunshine from the uh, north slope there across the western interior on down toward Kodiak Island. And then the uh, Lingering showers and thunderstorms here over the Alaska Range Copper River Basin, much of the eastern interior areas. And again, more widespread there over the Yukon. Pretty dry over the Gulf of Alaska. And again, the shower activity here over the Panhandle. And this cold front out to the west, uh, bringing some rain into St. Lawrence Island and the Pribilofs. And uh, showers over the central and eastern Aleutians. Next system out here to the west, spreading uh, moisture in toward the uh, southwest, or in toward the western Aleutians. And uh, that'll definitely roll in this evening and overnight tonight, spreading toward the central Aleutians tomorrow. Up uh, next here, we'll show the uh, thunderstorm uh, outlook for today. And again, that matched up pretty well with what's being observed now, the greatest threat here over the eastern interior. Could see some of that all the way down into the Talkeetna Mountains and possibly uh, northern Chugach Mountains there north and northeast of Anchorage. Could see uh, some lightning strikes, but definitely over toward the east, most of it, and to the north. And looking at tomorrow's forecast, again, this area clearing, edges eastward, much drier conditions, partly in mostly sunny skies, south central Alaska, uh, or I'm sorry, for tonight, not tomorrow, tonight, uh, drying out with the showers ending, but lingering here over the, uh, oh, 40 mile country there, but, uh, Staying south of Eagle, maybe some clearing there, a chance of showers up over the eastern north slope, stays dry over the central areas, and a chance of rain right along the west coast here due to this front out over the uh, Bering Strait, trying to edge eastward that low over the Russian Far East, and that tracking slowly eastward, but not moving a whole lot, and actually won't make much eastward progress here due to this upper level wind flow coming across the northern Bering Sea, a split in the wind flow carrying kind of stretching this front out, dragging moisture southward and the uh, stronger portion off to the northeast. This system here, a little bit uh, more organized and a little bit stronger winds and a little more uh, 
defined area of precipitation. Could be some moderate rain with that over the western Aleutians. And then for tomorrow, that area of moisture spreads into the central Aleutians, but you can see the gradient really uh, not holding together too well, so nothing significant in the way of winds out here for the Aleutians, but quite an area of uh, precipitation, light rain, fog, light rain, fog, and drizzle here up to the Pribilof Islands, down toward the eastern Aleutians, remnants of this front keeping some uh, cloud, or keeping a lot of clouds fog and drizzle or light rain here over the northern Bering Sea up through the Bering Strait. Look for periods of light rain over the western Seward Peninsula ahead of this front and probably continue to see those winds possibly gusting up to 25 to 35 miles an hour here at Kivalina Point Hope Cape Lisbon as that front approaches but lighter winds through the Bering Strait tomorrow where they gust as high as about 40 miles an hour this afternoon at Tin City from the south. And again, showers developing, isolated thunderstorms here over the western Alaska Range, maybe as far south as the Aleutian Range. But again, best chance over the eastern interior, especially the Copper River Basin, back up toward the eastern Brooks Range area. But partly mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny to start the day out over uh, south central Alaska and the uh, west central interior. And then those showers develop with the clouds building in the afternoon hours. Still temperatures rising into the uh, anywhere from upper 60s to well into the 70s in the Susitna Valley. Clouds and showers there for the southeast coast, north Gulf Coast as well. And moving on to Tuesday's outlook or the thunderstorm act outlook for tomorrow again. Eastern interior, best chance there, Copper River Basin, northward to the eastern Arctic coast. Again, uh, beginning to scatter out and become more isolated here as you move west. And nothing expected out to the central and western interior due to high pressure here, holding over the interior areas. Chance of some moisture, Brooks Range North Slope, mostly in the form of shower activity there, maybe low clouds, fog, and drizzle along the Arctic coast. But the uh, densest fog staying off the coast there, it looks like possibly, but light wind conditions that could uh, develop and move right to the coastline anywhere during the day uh, tomorrow. And again, a weak trough keeps it showering and unsettled over the southeast coast, even in the northern areas now, a little bit more in the way of clouds and showers tomorrow, but not too bad, not a washout by any means. And then this uh, front kind of uh, re intensifying a little bit here with a gradient developing south to north flow, maybe gusts 30, 35 miles an hour with this feature out over the central Bering Sea, mostly to the west of the Pribilof Islands. It stays wet over all of the Aleutians with widespread IFR covering much of the Bering Sea. Light winds, mostly sunny skies here over the southwest part of the state, allowing temperatures to edge upward and stays in the uh, 70s to uh, mid 80s with the warmest temperatures over the eastern upper Yukon Valley over toward Eagle, down toward Toke with afternoon showers and thunderstorms over the mountainous terrain of the southeast interior and the Alaska Range. And for lows tonight in the 50s here over the interior, just about everywhere. And same thing for the Panhead, a little warmer, more in the mid to upper 50s there for the overnight lows. Highs tomorrow, 60s to near 70, mostly in the 60s though for the southeast coast. North Gulf Coast as well, and uh, near 80 around uh, the Copper River Basin, otherwise 60s and 70s, 75 to, uh, or 72, maybe mid to upper 70s here in the Susitna Valley, and 65 to 75 for the Kenai Peninsula, mid 70s Kuskokwim Valley, mid 60s Kodiak Island, in the 70s for Bristol Bay. Followed by lows again, mostly in the 50s everywhere. King Salmon though could drop to 48 degrees, that'd be the exception and 50s for the southeast coast, followed by highs again, 60s, 65 to 70, warmest in the north for the Panhandle, around uh, Haines, Skagway possibly, lower 80s in the Copper River Basin, 70 to 75, 6, 7, 8, maybe 79 over the Susitna Valley, 75 to 80, west of the Alaska Range in the Kuskokwim Valley, and 70 to 75 for Bristol Bay, not too bad for Kodiak, 66. Up to the north, uh, Lows in the 50s, 40s for the Arctic coast, followed by highs, 80 to 85 here over the eastern interior, 70s central interior, cooling into the 50s out toward the Seward Peninsula, 55 to 65 for the Arctic coast, and 60 to 75 for the North Slope. And lows, mostly in the 50s, some areas into the mid 40s here along the Arctic coast and the Bering Strait, followed by highs again, 80 to 85 over this eastern interior. Still pretty mild here over portions of the North Slope, pushing 70 in some areas, that extending just about all the way out to the Arctic coast there. And 
50s to near 60 out to the west. And for the Bering Sea, upper 40s, lower 50s for the lows tonight, including the southwest coast and Alaska Peninsula. Highs tomorrow, upper 50s, lower 60s for the Alaska Peninsula. And uh, mostly 50s to near 60, 61, call it for ADAC there. Lows, upper 40s to lower 50s, followed by highs, lower 60s along the coast, milder though inland into the 70s, and uh, 61 for Unalaska, Cold Bay near 60 for ADAC.